Uh, Mrs. Brown? Yes, Cassie. I need help in math. Why are you asking me? I'm your French teacher. Go to Mr. Jones, your pre-algebra teacher. Mr. Jones don't know nothing. All I need is a way to remember something about negatives, stuff like integers and stuff like that. Cassie, have you been paying attention as class lately? No. Well, I don't know. I was a great math student during grade school. Well, okay. I teach you something. Now listen carefully because this will help you a lot. All right. All right, just teach me something. Let's start with a rule for adding numbers with the same sign, positive or negative. First, you have to find the sum of their absolute values. What's absolute value? Absolute value is the distance a number is from zero on the number line. Now, anyway, find the sum of the absolute values and give your answer the same sign you started with. Both positive result into positive. Both negative result into negative. Understand? We can call the S rule. You made sound way more easier than Mr. Jones did. All I do is. Okay. I'll be quiet. Go on. If the signs are different, find the difference of their absolute values. Then give your answers the dominant sign. Dominant? It's a number farthest away from zero on the number line. Why am I telling you this? You should know this already. I am telling you. It's Mr. Jones. Whatever. You can call that rule the D rule. Next up, subtracting. Subtracting a number is always adding its opposite. Rewrite by changing the subtracting sign to addition and the second number will be turned into a negative. Always rewrite if you want to make yourself look smart. Last and definitely the least, the sock rule. Oh, it's for multiplication and division. Oh, if your socks or sign match it results into being positive. If it doesn't match, is negative so always match your socks or I will fail you in French. Wait, what? Anyway, thank you. I understand now. Now Mr. Jones won't have to make stay after school for my homework. You still have to make up work for your French papers after school. Oh.